Hey y'all, so I'm here to do my weekly burns and melts, and I think I need to change this into a bi-weekly burns and melts, um, because I just don't make it through a lot of wax in one week. I live in a one-bedroom apartment, so I only have my bedroom and then the living room slash kitchen area in which to melt tarts and burn candles, so yeah, we'll see. Anyway, you guys can see that there are two candles I've been working on lately and the first one you guys have seen before it's the yankee candle thankful for you in the scent vanilla lime and i've talked about this already um you can see there was not a clean burn there's definitely some residue down the side um i love this scent so much it's it smells like the lime cream slushes from Sonic, which you guys should totally go get if you've never had one. They're so good. Um, but it smells like that, but there's no scent throw on this, so that sort of was a bummer, but, you know, what can you do? Then, the other candle, um, I've mentioned before, it was one of those creme brulee scents that I had said I have a lot of because these are the candles that you know, the students at high schools and stuff sell, so you're sort of obligated to buy them. And I bought this two years ago, a year ago. I don't know, it's been a little while. But anyway, I thought this would be nice to go ahead and start burning. It's Saints Black and Gold, and, um, you know, with the fleur de lis and everything, I thought it would be nice for the start of football season. And this candle is a train wreck. You guys can see right here that there is not an even wax pool. I burned this probably three days for hours and hours a day. So I've given it a chance, but as you can see up top, which we'll talk about the coloring in a second, but the wick is off center. So, and then, you know, the opening of the, the jar is so wide that it can't make it to these corners to get an even wax pool. Then you can see the wick is mushrooming and I, I lit it this morning and I didn't trim the wick before this video because I wanted to show you guys. I had it lit this morning for 20-30 minutes and this is what it did just in that short amount of time. So the flame is really low and it's just you can see how much soot has gotten into the wax and it's discolored it and it smells smoky and it's just it's just nasty. It's not a good burn. The scent is great, or was great, until, you know, it started smelling like smoke. But, anyway, I'm done with that candle. I'm just going to chunk it. So, anyway, on to the wax. I melted one cube of Sensational's Rhubarb Crumble. And I melted this when I had my favorite Cafe au lait going in the living room. And I melted this because I put this in my bedroom and I had hoped that it would make sort of a nice like coffee shop, bakery coffee kind of scent. Um, but this is good. It's a really strong scent throw, which is why I only put one cube in. Um, but there is no bakery in this whatsoever. I do not get crumble at all. And I mean, the description says homegrown and freshly baked. So, I don't know. I What I want to do is I'm going to hold on to this for a little while and maybe order like a pie crust scent from somebody and try to mix the two and see if I can't get a better bakery type scent that I'm after. I'm not going to say a lot about this one yet. The, just this morning, I put Hawaiian pineapple cilantro in my light bulb warmer in my living room. Um, I mean, I, I can smell it. It smells good. But that's really all I'm going to say about it because I just put it in. But I put in two cubes. And, yeah, I'm going to try to finish this up in the coming weeks just, you know, to empty out some space in my wax storage. And because I don't really need to hold on to a bunch of summery, better homes and gardens, sensational scents. So, I'll talk about that one later. The next one is Sensational's Unconditional Love. This is berries and pomegranate over rose petals. And I put this in my uh, Scentsy light bulb warmer in my bedroom last night. I could not go to sleep. I don't know what the problem was. So, I was like, oh, well, let me put in like a sort of soft scent and maybe that will help. Um, 
I, I did finally fall asleep, but this was not a soft scent. I thought, you know, the rose petals would sort of soften things. It's a really sweet, fruity scent, and I liked it. Um, I don't know that it was the best put in the warmer to go to sleep scent, but it was nice. Berries and pomegranate, I definitely get that. I, it's not really floral, hardly at all. And then, I just mentioned I melted some more of my favorite Cafe Au Lait. And this is a rich, robust aroma of freshly roasted Italian espresso beans. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Frustrating. Um, anyway, you guys know I love this. There's one cube left in this package, and there's, I think, four more clamshells where this came from. So I've been doing a lot of work for my the literature class that I'm teaching this semester. So, yeah, I've been really enjoying this Cafe Au Lait scent. Okay, and that's it from Sensational's Better Homes and Gardens. Um, next, you know, you guys know I had to melt at least one Kim's Tarts. And I melted fruit slices, and I put this in my bedroom. This is a really strong scent throw. I'll put it in my tea light warmer like I do with all of Kim's. Really strong scent throw. Um, it's really heavy on the orange. Like, really heavy on the orange. It borderlines almost on like an orange cleaner so next time I melt this I think I'm going to pop in um, some vanilla or some coconut or something to sort of mellow it out a little bit but I liked it and it's strong and I will definitely melt it again I did one cube of my sugar from Scentsy if you can tell one's missing I don't want to say too much about this because I only did one cube but it's a really nice fresh clean scent but still you know pink and sugary and sweet I really really liked this scent it's right up my alley right now I've been so into the like candy type scents lately yesterday I melted front porch candle company's April fresh laundry and this um Erin making sense sent this to me in our swap and, yeah, this was a great sit. Yesterday I was cleaning my apartment since I haven't been home in a few weeks. Um, or, you know, weekends, I guess. Um, so I melted this. It wasn't the strongest scent throw. I put it in a light bulb warmer. You guys let me know if that's the best way to do these. It wasn't the strongest scent throw, but it was so nice and fresh. And it just went perfectly with the cleaning mood that I was in. Um... It lasted a long time. I put it in about 9 o'clock yesterday morning and took it out or turned the warmer off about 10 o'clock last night. Um, and I, I turned it off for about two hours while I was running some errands. So I, I mean, it was in for like 23 hours and it did well and I really enjoyed that one. So thank you, Erin. The next one I'm going to talk about, you guys know this, it was from Front Porch, and there's no name on it because it was one of her mystery tarts, the layered scallop tarts, and this um, Megan Sharp sent to me in our swap, and this one had two layers. The bottom layer was the thicker layer, and it was a, a pink color, and then the top was blue, so I was really intrigued by that. I've been wanting to try one of her mystery tarts so I popped that one in the bottom was definitely some sort of like strawberry cheesecake bread there was definitely a strawberry note and definitely a bread note and then the top I think was maybe a laundry scent I'm not sure because I didn't pick up on it a whole lot um and those two sound crazy together but it was actually pretty nice I I got a lot of the strawberry bread scent and then just a little bit of freshness and lightness. So it was really nice. So thank you so much, Megan. I really enjoyed that one. And then the last one, funny story with this, is Tiffany Candles Christmas Cookies. And this was sent to me by Tiger Raider. And uh, she put this in the D-stash that I bought from her. So this one... When I got it, I thought I wasn't going to like it because it's, on cold throw, it's really heavy on the almond scent. And I don't like almond. I think it smells like cherries, and I don't like that. 
So I put this one in the drawer where I put the scents that I'm not really into and figured, you know, the round robin box is coming or some swaps are coming up. I'll just put it in there. Somebody will enjoy it. Well, I was watching someone do a haul and they got this and were mentioning it. And I was like, you know, let me let me check on that. So I went on um, Tiffany's website and read the description and it's sugar cookie and peppermint. And I was like, shut up. That's something I would totally be into. Why don't I like this scent? So I went and pulled it out of the drawer, smelled it again. And I was like, yeah, gosh, it's really heavy on the almond. I just don't like it. But I decided to go ahead and melt it because, you know, give it a shot, right? Based on the description, I should really like it. So I melted it. And I put it in my light bulb warmer. I think I need to do Tiffany's on a hot plate. Y'all tell me if I'm right. But anyway, I melted this. And, oh my gosh, it is so good. The almond goes away com almost completely, and you the peppermint comes out a lot when it's melted. So, I ended up loving this one so, so much. Um, so, sorry girls in the round robin, you're not getting this one. But, anyway, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Thank you so much, Carrie. I really, really like that one. And I almost didn't even try it. That's crazy. Okay. So that's it. That's what I have burned and melted this week. So let me know what you guys burned and melted this week. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.